Hi, welcome to World of Braiding and Extensions. Um, it's so nice to be back and to chat with you about different things going on around you and around us. Like we did promise, um, we're continuing to give you lots of support and all the questions we're getting, all the emails, all the inquiries. And so today we've got a new set of questions to deal with. My name is Joy Fido and I'm going to take you through what's going on and all the things we've been getting. So, World of Braiding and Extensions Helpline Episode 3. Welcome on board. So you know what we represent? We represent professional, healthy, natural hair care. So that's the main thing for us and underneath that are so many things like the training, like the hair service, like the healthy hair. So these are the areas where all the questions are coming from. So this particular episode, I'm going to just give you a basic information about what's coming through with the questions we're getting. So what we are going to be focusing on is um, caring, caring for and maintaining braids. We have question on that and that really picked us up as well because lots of people out there are wondering how to care for their braids. Um, we had another question for natural hair business. Again, we've, we've been asked that a few times, but we have to keep emphasizing the things you need to get into it. Um, we had a question on hair products, especially for the black Afro hair. We'll talk about that. Um, healthy hair guide, how do I maintain healthy hair was one of the questions. And how to grow healthy hair. So these are the topics we're going to be dealing with today. So starting with the question that came on the braiding care and how to care for braids, it came from Marie. And Marie wrote to us from the US, um, lots of questions. Uh, she says, I have a mixed race daughter, black and Mexican. Her hair is about 3C, full thick ringlets. Um, what I'm gonna do, I just cut it into bits so it's not too long. Uh, I've been learning to braid so that I can protect her hair because it's difficult to manage on a daily basis without her complaining. So she's braiding her hair so that she can save herself from having to tug and pull her hair every day. This is one of the reasons we're encouraging braiding as well, especially for children. And if you've been following me on Instagram, I send images of young kids, three-year-old, four-year-old, who get their hair in braids. It saves the parents from having to tug and pull the hair all the time. She says, I would like to know what video I can purchase that will tell me how to care for hair when in braids. Unfortunately, we haven't really done a particular video on how to care for braids, but then we do. We've written quite a few blogs on that, how to care for braids, and mostly it's about getting your natural hair spray, which we talk about all the time. And so you're using all the natural oils, and you're using the spring bottle of water, and you're mixing them up, and you're spraying it on the braids on a daily basis, or every two days, at least just wash the scalp. The most important thing is to make sure the scalp remains healthy while in braids. And then the, the hair strands, there's no problem because the braid itself is holding the hair strands. So it's the scalp that is the biggest of the problem while in braids. Another thing I want you to completely remember is you can wash your hair in braids. Lots of people think if I'm wearing braids, I don't have to wash it. No, that is not a healthy habit because your scalp gets dirty and then all kinds of things are going on. And you may just get some kind of infection if you don't wash the hair. That's where lots of people go, the hair goes all itchy. So remember to wash the braids, maybe at least every two or three weeks. And then do not apply any uh, cream conditioner when after you've washed it. Make sure the conditioner you're using is like a spray type, the leave-in conditioners, so that it doesn't leave any bulk underneath those braids. Um, that's the best other way I can suggest for you to take good care of your braids. Uh, and then remember, when it's time to take it out, to be very, very careful with it because you don't want to um, start cutting your own hair or be in a hurry to take it out. Lots of things happen. But again, if you're very keen on this, I know I've replied, Marie, but if you're very keen, you can always email us and we'll send you the blog. But we're hoping in future to create a full video that will deal with this particular aspect of our, of our service. Um, and then she says, how do I keep it clean? So I've just talked about keeping it clean. Now remember again, when you want to shampoo your braids, do not apply the shampoo directly onto the braids. Just mix it up a bit. And I normally say to my clients, um, three quarter of uh, water and then one quarter of the shampoo itself. Because shampoo in itself is very concentrated. So if you take the whole shampoo the way it is and pour in your hair, now what you're going to have is, it will be very difficult to wash it out. 
and then it takes longer and the more your friction it's all about friction the more your fingers are going through the braids the quicker your braids will start coming out so remember to don't don't pour the shampoo directly onto the hair but mix it up so it's very very mild okay so that's another way to take care of it and she says how to keep the hair from drying out or being damaged so i've just talked about the product how to mix it how long can i keep the braids in without damaging it a major issue do not keep your braids longer than three months lots of people think okay yes i paid this much money to get my braids on i'm gonna keep it forever now after three months what happens is the braids starts locking itself so your hair is going to start locking and you're going to create locks without you actually wanting to create locks now this becomes a problem when you want to take out your braids because all the knotted bits at the ends will be difficult to take out so no longer than three months and what we recommend again is after about six weeks come back and then someone will do the hairline or you tell your stylist take out the hairline and redo them why are we fussy about the hairline because that's where the most friction happens and so the, the, your hair tends to lock itself quicker on the hairline so after six weeks touch it up and then you have a fresh head of braids again so we talked about how to keep them neat that was one of Marie's question okay we mentioned how to shampoo the hair there are other ways you can take take care of your braids while it is um it's in the braids um you can get what we call the witch hazel it depends on where you're based i don't know if you have it there or there's also something they call the dry shampoo so these are different options if, if you have to try the dry shampoo there's so many different types again you have to find out from us what type you want to be dealing with um then how not to damage the hairline uh, so that the hair gets all healthy now this is one area that we are very 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 strong we don't like anyone having damaged hair if you've been following us you know that we believe in healthy natural hair so if you're braiding someone's hair you are a stylist make sure you don't hold the hairline too tight because that's what's causing what they call traction alopecia now if you are a client make sure you tell your stylist please do not pull my hairline too tight most times once it's done what i say is if you don't know how to hold it and you've held it a bit tight tell your client after a few days she can take them off and then just brush it back in because normally it won't look that nice if after a brand new braids the hairline is looking all messy so please don't allow anyone to hold your hairline too tight and also don't hold anyone's hairline too tight and that's all i can say on that particular uh, um part of it so and then she goes on to say i think this is a great gift to provide people who do braiding um i really like the fact that you emphasize healthy hair so thank you so much mary because we do like when people tell us some of the things we're really doing well so thank you so our next question came from tiffany who's based in new york and this was all about the business and training as well and she says i just found out about you today so that means i missed your workshop in the u.s oh gosh i'm so mad about that well tiffany will understand never mind it's other times when we'll be coming to the u.s uh, but we'll always let you know because she wanted to know that whenever we're coming again we should please let her know and put the information on youtube which we did and we will still do that whenever we're going to come next but she says um uh, I am loving your YouTube videos and I plan on ordering your downloadable videos tonight. I used to braid hair a lot before I got married and then she had a second child. Because of that, she stopped. I know the financial potential in hair braiding, so I'm ready to take, take it very seriously and start a business in hair braiding. Now, I love this letter because Tiffany is somebody who really knows what the business is all about. And I sit here every day telling you, now this is something you should get involved in and somehow people think i'm just talking now she said very clearly i'm going to order your videos and i'm ready to take it on because i know the potential of this industry we've told you over and over this industry has over 4.2 trillion circulating in people's hands people selling the extensions people doing classes people offering service people offering uh, products it's such a huge industry and you're sitting out there and thinking okay i can't find a job i've gone to university i studied whatever it is time for you to look into your hands it's something we preach every day and we've created everything people ask for you said um, you needed dvds because you couldn't travel to us we've created dvds 
you said you wanted them to be you know you want it when you want it as in you don't want to wait 10 days for it to be delivered to you so we've created downloadable dvds now picking on that topic if you are trying to download our dvd onto a tiny tiny handset please don't do it because these files are very big and so if you try to download if you have any problems at all contact us first this is what i email everyone do not go back to paypal and start complaining that you're not getting what you asked for contact us first we're happy to support you that's why we're here we know all the skills we don't want to keep it to ourselves and that's why we do what we do we're happy to share knowledge i say that every day so if you want anything from us email us first if you're having issues and we will address them we are more than happy to attend to you so again thank you so much tiffany for you know letting us understand that yes there are people out there who appreciate what we're saying and then they're ready to take it on please make sure you're ready give yourself everything to help yourself and this starts from the money you invest by your training but we have made it so easy because you don't have to travel to us and pay all the money air, air tickets hotel accommodation leaving your family we've got you dvds we'll go you downloadable form we can offer you skype support which we've started with quite a few people we're here for you so once you know this is what you want to take on we will guide you from zero which we've done with thousands of women out there who can testify to what we've done we will guide you from nothing so if you've never done it before we will take you from zero and take you to where you want to be so thank you again tiffany so our next question came from Chinwe, who's based in Nigeria. Chinwe, I really love your email. I mean, uh, we're excited because we've never really got lots of inquiries from that side of the world in Africa. So when we start here, we've been hearing from quite a few people now. So we're excited. That means people are getting a bit more interested in getting to know what's going to help their hair and give them healthy hair. It's one of those things we talk about because we realize that lots of people especially in africa are so hooked up with the weaves we've been told this several times i love weaves i love wigs i don't personally wear weaves because it's not my kind of thing for reasons i want my natural hair to stay healthy now the more you start creating corals and holding them very tightly and then you stitch the weave on it it creates alopecia no matter what you want to tell me i have seen it happen to so many people and Naomi Campbell is one very huge example of where this happened. Naomi started from the age of 16, being a supermodel, and this has been going on. So when I saw what happened to her hair, I was not surprised. And it's one of the questions I ask everyone wearing weaves. How healthy is your hair underneath your weave? So if people are thinking weave is the solution to all their issues unfortunately as far as i know it's not the solution the other option is to wear the wigs that's why you see me every day with a different type of wig when i don't feel like you know messing around with my hair so her issue was she has been wearing different hairstyles she loves braiding as well and recently noticed that her hairline is receding now i really love the fact that she's been so honest about this lots of people want to hide underneath that weave and so i had a client once whose hairline was completely receded and she came to me for the first time with her hairline and she said to me could you just glue the part that's receded and then stitch the part that still had the hair i was stunned because i don't believe in unhealthy hair i don't believe in damaged hair if you find your hair is getting damaged stop whatever it is you're doing just stop it and then start all over again my suggestion to her was no we're gonna to have to cut a little bit left in the middle and allow your hair to start all over again this is what i say to anyone who find their hairline is completely gone take it all off get yourself a lovely set of wigs wear them during the day depending on what kind of job you do because i'm not going to sit here and say oh yeah walk around with your hair all shaved off i wouldn't do it so there are lots of celebrities who walk around with shaved and they look amazing if you think you will look amazing with your hair shaved that's beautiful and you hear people going the big chop and teeny weeny afro there are so many names for them whatever rocks your boat go for it but if you're not one of those types and you just want to have your normal healthy look remember hair is all about confidence 
So if you're wearing a hairstyle that's not giving you the confidence you want, do something about it. And there's so many choices. So this is where we start. If you find you cause so much damage with your hair, do not put yourself under more stress and keep weaving what you don't have. Take off all that hair, wear a wig, and take care of hair underneath. So this is what I recommend. During the day, wear the wig. Look as glamorous and beautiful as you want to look. At night, take off the wig. Get some healthy hair oils, which I know so many. Email me and I will guide you. Put a healthy hair oil on your head and massage it in. And for as long as you're eating healthy, drinking lots of water, resting, there's so many things that help our hair grow. We've written blogs on this as well. Email us and then we'll guide you on what is best for you to do. So I'm really grateful to Chiwen for writing in and this has answered so many people's questions out there. Someone else wrote, this was on YouTube. Again, we always encourage email us directly. That way we get your message quicker. Um, saying that, yes, um, in her time, um, they were made to believe that until you have straight hair, you can look beautiful. We have changed that with our training. You can have your natural healthy hair. You can have your Afro kinky hair. You can have your straight hair. Whatever you want in the business of natural hair, you can have it and you can equally look beautiful. So stop allowing anyone to brainwash your hair to think that the only answer is for you to put chemicals into your hair. We don't encourage that at all. Now the next thing that came up really, really importantly, that was really, really important to us and we felt needed to be talked about is if you are a hairstylist, you work with natural hair, you braid hair. Now, when you have that extension called expression or any of the canaculon type that is really long, they come in the form of 82 inches to 90 inches depending on the brand you buy. Do not go wasting that hair. I've had lots of people emailing me and talking about it. What you need to do is understand how to create what we call the feather tips. It's called the natural tip. So learn to understand how to work with that. You will be surprised that you will save so much hair. So this is why I brought this DVD for you to see. We call it um, preparing synthetic hair for natural tip. This is absolutely a must for anyone who is working with braids. You cannot keep wasting the hair extension because you don't know what to do. It's been done. It's in a DVD form and everyone who's bought this so far has been very proud of what they have because it's really changed the way they look at it. And I've got emails thanking me for showing them what to do, how to work with this hair. The other one is this one, is the loose box braid. This is very popular at the moment. The minute you know how to work with the um, preparing the natural tape, the next thing you want to know is how to work with the loose box braids, which is quite popular at the moment. Anywhere you go, Google or Tumblr or Instagram, it's everywhere in your face right now. This is the hair that Beyonce wore recently. This is the hair Solange wears. This is the hair Brandy wears. So if you want to be there and be able to create this kind of style, which I get inquiries all the time, people wanting to have it done on their hair, you are going to need this video. So get them and change your business for the better. Again, we got some emails, like I said earlier, from Africa, the interest is picking up. So someone from Ghana, and this was Trish, and then another person from Nigeria, Ngozi, and their questions were all about ability to grow their hair and what kind of products could they be using. Now, unfortunately for me right now, I am not in the country, so I don't know what kind of healthy natural products that are available. But this is what we've always recommended. Make sure you start with your natural healthy oils. So things like um, the almond oil, the shea butter oil, which is very popular in Ghana, uh, the cocoa butter oil. So things like that, you just use them, mix it up yourself. I know they are not going to create you the type you get in the shops but these are the natural things you have them you don't have to wait until someone's put it in a package and put a name on it and then you say oh good this this is the product that's best for my hair because a petite, one of the questions um uh, from uh, the lady in ghana was there's a particular product i was using and it was so good and now i don't find them anymore so what should i do 
what's happening is you're becoming dependent on something. I, I really don't encourage anyone to be too dependent on anything. As long as there are no chemicals in these products, read the, read the ingredients that they talk about and then try them out. Uh, things we discourage are the sulfates and the parabens and the silicons, which I know they're not very popular at the moment in Africa. So if you can just stick to the natural things, shea butter, mix it with basic oils, you will be fine. Things like olive oil and shea butter, they make amazing mix. So mix them up. You can put them in the spritz bottle like we've always recommended. And all you do is, once you get your hair all nicely shampooed, just put these things on. You don't need anyone to put any name on a brand and say, that's the one that works for you. They're using the same ingredients. So you'll be surprised to find that out. But anyway, that's our recommendation for that particular problem. And it's been so nice having you um, tuning in and getting informed about all of what these things are all about. We are excited to keep coming back to you with answers to your problems. So keep writing in. We're excited to hear from you and emailing us. We've said email is the best form. And we'd like you to follow us on all the social media so you get to know what's going on. Um, places like the Facebook, we have water braiding and extensions. We also have water braiding where we show the hairstyles that we've created. We have the blog, which is waterbraiding.wordpress.com. Now, I write a lot of really, really great articles. I only recently wrote 10 different hair oils that are good for the natural Afro hair. You would like to know about that because that will help you to know what to do with your hair. Um, I'm on Instagram as well, so whenever I'm working with unique hairstyles or something new happens, I go in there and I put the images, and my name on Instagram is Queen Braid. So if you join me, you'll be getting to know what's going on. So again, on YouTube, here we are. We're talking all the time. So we love to stay in touch with you and we love to hear from you. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you in our next episode of Caring for Your Hair and Your Business.